In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a downspout rain collector. Now they sell these downspout rain collector adapter devices online for like 50 bucks kind of range. And I think we can make something for less with the junk laying around the house. So the first step is gonna be finding a bottle, plastic bottle, that has the same approximate size and shape as the downspout. Uh, and you want it to be a little bit smaller than the downspout. So the, if the water really starts coming through, you can kind of go around the edges of it. Step two is to find a hose laying around. I happen to have this one uh, from some piping I put in the ground a while back, but you could use an old garden hose if you have it laying around. And then step three is gonna be putting it into the hole where the downspout is, uh, up at the top of the roof. So be careful, use your ladders, uh, be safe, tie them off, and we'll go from there. We'll see if this connection can be tightened up a bit, but uh, whatever drum you have, if you have an old plastic trash can or a 55 gallon drum or whatever, uh, this just happened to be junk that I had around, so I think it'll work. So now what you're gonna need is some silicone sealant. And I've cut the bottle down to where it's a funnel shape that will fit in the opening, as you can see, the opening. It's kind of rough around the edges. That's pretty common with construction. So we'll jam this down in there and seal it around here. And maybe if there's room, we'll fasten a screw in the side to hold it in. I don't, or I don't think it needs it. Maybe we can just use silicone. Okay, so I've got it glued up with silicone. You can kind of see, um, just push the hose down in there a ways and you've basically just created a little funnel and then I used a whole bunch of silicone to seal around the funnel to the hose and I also used silicone on the back edge here uh, where the funnel goes up against the downspout. Uh, if the hose was a loose hose, like a, like a garden hose, like a flexible hose, I would want to take and use a screw and come in on the outside and fasten uh, from the outside of the downspout here find a way to fasten that funnel to the downspout so that it's gonna stay put. However, this hose is so uh, stiff that it's got a friction fit down there at the bottom where it comes through the downspout. It, it's coming through with a tight enough bend, there's enough friction that I don't think this hose is gonna go anywhere. So we're just gonna let that cure and uh, we're pretty much done. I haven't connected this to my tank yet because I want that glue to cure up there before I go wiggling around on the hose. But yeah, that'll be the last step is just connecting this to the tank. And uh, some of you may be saying, why didn't you just uh, do the connection down here and you don't have to go on the roof. You could have just made your funnel here and then screwed the connector in there. It would have been so much more simple. Why didn't you do that? Well, if you think about how much this column of water is going to weigh when it's filled up and then you look at the connections that are just a tiny little rivet connector i don't trust that a completely full downspout wouldn't just rip off the wall because of the weight of it however the weight of the hose which is a much smaller diameter filled with water i think it can handle that so that that's why i didn't just build a funnel connector down here at the bottom and seal it off so in conclusion, if you have, number one, a ladder or a way to get up on the roof, number two, some silicone glue, and number three, some scrap hose, you can build yourself a downspout collector. However, if you don't have those three items and if you don't have a way to, you know, use a screw gun or some way to fasten it, uh, it would be more affordable actually to just go buy the pre-packaged thing from the store because you know they've designed it to be a little more user-friendly so kind of just depends on what you have laying around
Thanks. Have a good one. Look at there, it's working. It hasn't rained in like three months. It looks like I have a little leak around here. I have to do something about that.